Philip, just what's it been like? What's, uh, what's your impressions of the, the, the camp so far? It, it's been good. Uh, we have been here for a couple of days now, uh, practicing and playing some games, so it just feels good. And uh, yes, uh, we didn't come out as we could against USA, but we just got to reset and uh, came out stronger against Canada. Uh, where is your game at? Where, how do you feel your game is progressing right now? I feel good. Uh, like uh, it's the first games of the season. Obviously, it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but um, it it feels great. Uh, like the team and all uh, is playing good. Actually, uh, uh, so it's all good. Your skating obviously is 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 incredible. How did you develop that skill? How did you become such a good skater? Like obviously, when you want to be good at something, you gotta practice it. So I probably have around seven different skating coaches throughout the years and uh, that helped me with different things and I've just taken it all in and uh, taking that with me in my skating uh, so I think that's a big part of it. He's a really good skater I think I mean he came through last year and, and he made our team a little bit like a quick quick run Lily again was out and we just felt Ruber had a really good last couple of weeks but he's a phenomenal skater he, he he skates really good and he's quick he can join the rush but he, he still can get back uh, and I think as well he, he skates with the puck he can carry the puck really good I think uh, passing and shooting could be could be something he can work on and be even better but I think uh, playing with the puck and without the puck I think his, um, his skating ability will help him become a really good player who is your uh, do you have a favorite one a seven Seven coaches is a lot. Who, who taught you the most, do you think? Uh, I, I have one here in Toronto, uh, Joe Venuto. I worked with him for uh, a long time now, and he's really good. Uh, Joe Venuto in Ontario, so he's a really good guy as well. How do you think playing next year uh, against men is going to help your development? I think it's going to be good for my development. Like I, I played against men last year as well, but... Uh, I think this year uh, I hope uh, to get a bigger role in Shalafti in the SHL and uh, hope, hopefully play big minutes and come back to training camp next year and uh, hopefully they make the team. I think uh, I think I think it I think it would be good. I mean, it's still it's it's going to be tough. I mean, he, he played in the AIK last year in in, in the second division and Khalefius got Khalefius is a big club. They're a contender. They want to be a, like a top four team. So I think he'll he'll have to modify his game a little bit more. I think he will be asked to play a little bit more defensive role and, and shut down players and I think that could help him go through because I think uh, getting to the NHL, if you're not uh, Eric Carlson, you, you got to play both ways. I mean, you, you got to be able to defend and you got to be able to, to move the puck, skate the puck and, and pass the puck and make your, your make plays for your forwards. And I think, uh, I think it'll be good for him for one more year at home and, and developing and, and then um, Edmonton has something to look forward to. Is it a tough decision on where to play? I guess you could have stayed here in North America as well. Like, what, How did you process it? Yeah, like obviously I got to talk to Edmonton and see what they want and, and all that. And uh, in that, I think that that's the, the best thing for me to play against men next year and to develop and uh, to practice against them every day. They, I was talking to Scott Housen with the Oilers yesterday. He said they left it up to you. Did you appreciate that, that they gave you the room to make that decision? Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Like, obviously, you got to have a conversation about it. Uh, so I think it's good that they let me chose what, what I wanted to and what I think is the best for my developing, and I think it's the best to play against men. So we know your skating is, is already at a high level. You're just talking to your... Your coach Thomas, he's saying, you know, passing, shooting are areas where you can grow. What are you focused on in taking a step next season? I, I, I think I'm working a lot of my sh shot to uh, become a better shooter, uh, to score more goals in different areas in, in the game. Uh, uh, but I think I gotta, gotta develop better, everything to make the initial next year, and uh, that's my goal. How are you working on your shot? Is it just repetitions in practice? Are you? you know, working with a skills coach, how do you get a better shot? No, it's like you, you just got to shoot a lot uh, before practice, after practice, uh, take the ice time you have and uh, work on the shots you want to have. And uh, that's how you become a good, sh uh, good shooter. Sweden, like Canada, lost in the quarterfinals uh, of World Juniors last year. How motivated are you to be part of the team this year and uh, get Sweden back where I'm sure you guys think you belong on the top of the podium? 
Yeah, obviously we're going to come back next year in Czech and um, be more prepared. And uh, we lost in the quarterfinal, like you said, and uh, we don't want to do that again. We want to take uh, home the goal. Uh, that's uh, always the goal. Philip, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.